I'm doing a quick periscope from my iPad. I'll just wait for a few people to come on. Um, I just thought I'd do it from my iPad. Hey Emma, thank you for jumping on. So sweet studio. Hello everyone. Yeah, I just, can you guys see me properly? I'll figure out where my camera is. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just thought I would do... Hey, hey, gone. So my three-year-old has taken a nap. So I thought I'd quickly jump on Periscope. I don't normally do work on Sundays, but um, I do have a few editing going on. Um, yeah, so um, if you're not in my private Facebook group, jump in there. Um, there's a lot of questions going around. Um, it's if you search up the top in um, Facebook, just the Photographer Society. Um, let me know who's on. Let me know um, if you're in my group. If not, go in there and jump on. Um, a few um, things that have been going around is about pricing, packaging and selling. Now there's a lot of new photographers jumping in that group, um, which is great. But um, I just wanted to quickly go over because that's the main issue we have. You guys are dropping out, I think, right? Okay. So if you are, uh, you can always watch the replay. I will share it into the private group and on the fan page. So if you guys are new and um, you know you're not, um, you're sort of confused on how to price package. You have to first. I want to talk about how to lay down the route. So it's really about how you start before you start to price and package and sell. So um, I wrote a few notes. So I'm going to be looking at my notes so I don't get distracted with um, Periscope. But let me know if you have any questions along the way. Um, so first like I said you've got to lay down the roots you got to uh, first understand what you want from your business that's the main issue um, around photographers another thing um, my coach used to say to me what is your why so why do you, why are you doing this why are you in business for I know it's so different to like far from pricing packaging but this is what will actually give you the confidence to price and package and sell. See, you can charge a thousand dollars for an item, but if you're not confident, you won't sell it and you'll just sound like a scam. So understanding why you do this. For instance, I do this because, you know, I love it. Um, I want it to be the main source of income for my family. Um, and yeah, I want to be able to earn more so I can spend more time away from my computer editing and away from, you know, um, working with less um, clients and more with my, you know, um, my two children. So I prefer to work less, earn more. I always, I love that saying, work less, earn more. So if I get, instead of getting 10 clients a week, I only have three clients a week and I earn the same. So hands up, who wouldn't want that? So you gotta understand what the end outcome you want from your business. Um, also, you know, you gotta brainstorm ways of how you wanna be presented as a business. Do you wanna be unique? Do you wanna be fun? Do you wanna be um, a boutique? You know. Or understanding all that will actually give you the um, the you know the path on how to price and package and how to sell your stuff to your clients. So um, yeah, so in regards to pricing, there's you know just because you know we go we look for labs we look for products and we find that you know a certain product might cost us a hundred dollars we think you know it's not fair to charge. Um, I don't know, $900 for it, let's just say as an example, just because we're paying for $100. So, by the way, if you're liking this um, scope, please do share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter, or you can tap the, um, yes, thank you so much for the hearts. It just lets me know that I'm not talking to myself. So, um, yeah, so you got to, um, what was I saying? Okay, this is why I get distracted. Lucky I got my notes. So, um, like what, so sweet, sure, you keep falling out, do you? Okay, okay, Periscope has become a bit wonky lately, so I might start doing Facebook Live in the group, so make sure you're in my group, the Photographer Society. Um, so I was talking about pricing, so think about, you know, not just because a certain, um, you know, product costs a certain amount, like $100, you can't charge more. If you see value in it, and if you see, you know, it, you know, these, these companies they do that because it costs them less but because I find I look for products that if I see value in it and what it's worth I'll charge what it's worth not 
what I would I pay for it as a photographer. So I have a lot of products that cost me about 100 to 200. I charge about minimum. I'm not from the top of my head. I can't remember, but a minimum of about um, you know. Uh, so say a product costs 100 dollars, I will charge um, 500 dollars for it. So just because it costs you less doesn't mean you have to charge less for it. Um, also, you have to think about, you have to consider when you're pricing your overhead. So the time, you know, the things that cost you memberships um, to run your business, you know, electricity, uh, it could be anything, you know, um, the props that you buy, the, like I said, the memberships, that's probably the main, um, you know, uh, overheads as photographers we have, you know, your equipment, um, you know, things that um, have you have to have to get to that end result. So you gotta think about things like that. And importantly, you have to think about, you have to calculate all that and you have to think about in the end what you wanna earn as profit. So your profit margin, what you want that to be at the end of the week, at the end of the month or year. So they're things to um, think about. Now, um, you gotta add all those up and then you gotta add that extra on and you gotta, like I said, you gotta, figure out how much that product is going to cost you or that service and then you've got to add on your profit onto that and then you've got the end result of how much you want to charge per product or per session or whatever whatever it is or how you calculate it. Um, also, you know, I like to add things from the time the client um, contacts me to the session time, the editing, post-production, the packaging, all the way to until it's delivered to my client. So I consider all that, plus I add my profit onto that, how much I should be making a year, and then while I've got the um, pricing for every single product. So some products take me longer to customize and design and, you know, order. So things like that you have to consider for pricing. I get, I think that when you've got these laid out and you know, you know how to price each item or each package you're selling to your client. So. Um, that's for pricing. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Um, now for packaging, you know, you have to, impact, when you're packaging, whether it's pre-packaging or um, IPS, in-person sales, you have to set rules. Now I set rules for my um, client. I do in-person sales by categories, so they have to choose from compulsory. They choose from two categories, so I make it compulsory for them. Um, I set rules so they have to choose at least one from say one and then or and then one item from category two etc so you can lay it out however you want to but it's important that you set boundaries you set rules because customers can take you left right and center you when you set rules like for instance in anything you go sign agreement that's the rules that you like it you come you don't then you have to look elsewhere so it doesn't have to be that strict you're not buying a house but they're the rules laying down foundations rules you're running a business in the end don't feel like you're working for yourself and your mum at home I know most of us are mums probably or students starting out we don't feel like we're big businesses we shouldn't have rules that's where you're going wrong you have to lay down the rules for your packaging because or else people are gonna buy you know the cheapest thing or the the less thing that you've got there and that's just gonna not make you any profit you're gonna feel like you're working for peanuts so you don't want that um, also add value in your packaging so the way you present it um, you might add you know if someone purchases a certain product you might add okay you get this with it so you're adding value constantly adding value people like value when they see value they'll pay for more and then also when you Put add-ons with certain items make sure they don't cost you a fortune make sure they're really easy for you to create or order and they don't cost you an arm and a leg so another thing is do your maths so I write I have a course called price package and sell and in there I teach you on how to you know make sure you earn a minimum of four figures per client now I this is what I'm talking about here when I say do your maths do your maths um, make sure you know I like you know I struggled a lot I didn't know how much I would earn per client so I was sick of it so I thought you know I got to know exactly when a client books me in and says hey I want a book and that let's go ahead I know that I will make a minimum of four figures from that client so I want you to it doesn't have to be four figures if you don't want to um, if you want to know more about price package and sell go to my website the photographer society.com it's on the menu there you can check it out and find out what it's all about but 
I just so you're guaranteed how much you earn per client, you got to do your math. So you got to the depends how your packaging is set out, whether it's pre-packaged or create a collection or through categories or whatever. You have to make sure that you're earning a certain amount no matter what they choose from your packaging. So, and if you've got say pre-made packaging, I always say don't make the prices too far from each other. Maybe always add a little bit more on top of the second package the third package and the fourth and always have a minimum because the more packages you have the less con the more confused your client is going to get and when they're confused they'll only go for the smallest package which is probably the cheapest not making you much anyway so understanding and figuring out and doing your maths and knowing that that client when that client walks in you're going to make that much that makes you that makes you build a business and makes you more confident and you know that you're making that certain figure from every client minimum and then you know you can always do the sales session or however you want to set it up online you can always do different things to add on um, you know things so they can add to the cart and buy more so do you guys have any questions um, you know I can't even okay there's my camera you know my iPad's black and I can't even see where my camera is okay so now selling the most fun bit now you don't have to be a salesperson you don't have to do that you I do in-person sales so I, I've got everything like you should see in my studio now it's the walls are covered with different items I sell on the coffee table you know when they come in I pass them the products to have a look at I'm selling without selling so I'm just getting them to sit there have a look while I photograph their baby as you know I'm a newborn photographer so you don't have to be salesy you don't have to you know try hard to sell presenting you know having everything that you want to sell do you provide drinks and bickies yes I do I never used to but I felt sorry for the dads that would come in so I just put you know plain biscuits I don't know what they're allergic to and I will say to them you know, there's Bickies there if, you, if you'd like some. And I offer water. I don't offer any drinks. So I offer water. I do ask if they like tea or coffee. I will go make them or tell them to help themselves. But most don't because it's a trip to the kitchen. So they're, um, so water it is. So yes, I do have them there um, as well. And just to make them feel comfortable. So yeah, anything when, that, when you're comfortable, that's another point to bring up. When you're comfortable and... No worries, Emma. My pleasure. So when you're comfortable, you tend to buy more, if that makes sense. I find that with my clients that are comfy, I make them feel comfortable. I don't make them feel like they're coming um, just to pay me and going. Um, that's the last thing I want. I want to build a relationship with my clients more than anything because, as you know, the most powerful marketing is word of mouth. Um, but as we go along with selling, so another thing when you're selling, make sure you give them a if you're doing online, make sure you give them at least a week to two weeks maximum and they have to order or fees apply. Now, I used to do that, worked, worked the best when I used to do online. And yes, they never used to add on things. They used to buy just my pre-made packages that totally, you know, threw me off. But the good thing was they would, you know, pay on time. Um, that I wouldn't have to follow up. Um, that's why I switched to in-person sales. And when you're doing in-person sales, you have to make them order on the spot. I don't care if you're giving away free add-ons for a particular product. They still have to choose those images or that product then and there, and they have to pay for it in full. Or fees apply if they have to do that after they go home or whatever. So that way you get a certain sale. Hi, Kebabalicious. Okay, we got a Kebabalicious in the house. Okay, so if you're a photographer, you're more than welcome to um, watch the replay. <laughs> um, yeah, so make them pay on the spot. So make them order on the spot. It saves you from following up. It saves you, you know, having to um, try and sell over the phone or through email. You do it then and there and just have that in the contracts as well, in your portrait, in your um session contracts as well so um, that works to your benefit trust me I've been there and I've done that so yeah so with online orderings you can do the same thing um, set it up so they can um, have a system so they can work you know pay um, online 
um, have a system if you can depending on how your website is set up to actually have pop-ups with add-ons or you know when you go to the cart how sometimes it says you might like this you might have another extra print package or extra something so that's something to think about um, also um, you might have um, I order some things online and um, sometimes they always after I check out they have you know if you purchase this you get say 20% off or something you can have something like that but that's all technical stuff you have to get someone to figure that out for you so so there are things um, you know you know you, you know what you can use to actually price package and sell if you want to know more about it and you want to get in depth and for me to take you step by step because it's going to take me forever if I do it through Periscope check out the price package and sell um, course it's a four video series course with two bonus um, videos bonus modules it's um, on the photographersociety.com forward slash PPS you can check it out there it's called price package and sell and it takes you you know throughout pricing, packaging and selling and obviously building the foundations to do that. Now guys, I have the Members Club launching soon. So if you want to go more deep into every aspect of running a photography business, that's what it's going to be about. It's going to cover branding, advertising, marketing, you know, um, finding clients, attracting clients, um, you know, how to, you know, um, brand yourself, how to attract clients through your, you know, your personal, you know, everything. We've got everything covered. So, and I have every month a um, particular expert on the members um, club, in the members club, um, we will have um, special master classes. So I'll have an expert on covering a particular topic, could be branding, could be marketing, and they will take you step by step on what to do. So instead of having individual courses, which is going to take me forever for you to guys to learn, um, and you know, instead of buying different courses, I have the Members Club um, launching, which is a monthly membership at a very low cost. And if you're not on the VIP list, go to the photographersociety.com forward slash members club VIP or you can in the Facebook group it's on the pinned post so you can check it out there um, yeah so that's it from me to you this afternoon on Sunday from Melbourne um, yeah so do you guys have any questions um, before I leave I will reshare this in the in the private group so if you're a photographer and you're watching this, be sure to go to the Photographer Society private group and I'm more than happy to add you in there. Um, yeah, um, if you want to know, okay, here we go, one question. Are you a photographer or do you own a kebab store? I'm very curious to know. All right. Oh, your sister is a photographer. Okay. Get her to join us at the Photographer's Society. There's heaps of info. She likes it. Um, I own a restaurant. Um, I could probably tell that. <laughs> um, yeah, get her to go to thephotographersside.com. She can sign up to um, get weekly my weekly newsletters. All right, awesome. Yeah, get her to hop on Periscope um, if your sister is a photographer. Okay. So guys, um, until then, I will catch you later and you can find me at the Photographer Society or thephotographersociety.com and I'll check, you, check in with you guys next time, probably do Facebook Live so it's good to be in the group um, and then you can catch me there more often. Until then, I will catch you guys later. What's your email address? I'll give it to I do not give out my email address. She can go, actually she can email me admin at thephotographersociety.com so admin at the photographers society .com, or she can go to the website um, and yeah she can ask me anything there until then cool thank you so much guys for tuning in. I appreciate it I'll catch you guys later bye